What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Last time you saw me, I made a video describing positive things about stuff I don't like. And in the comments, a couple people asked me to make the opposite, negative stuff about things I do like. Wow, literally asking for negativity. What's your damage? Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Let's get started. As much as I love Tekken, you know, since it's my favorite video game franchise of all time, I must admit that it's a really boring game to watch. The fun of Tekken comes from actually playing it because it's a really fun game to play, but oh man, I cannot tell you how many times I have fallen asleep trying to watch a tournament on Twitch. Even with the super moves and rage arts they added, it's still not enough to keep you awake. It's no secret that Crash Bandicoot has mastered platforming at this point, but what about something else like riding a motorcycle or flying a plane or driving a jeep? Yup. This is where the vehicle levels come in. They're not fun. I mean, they're fine for what they are, but come on, tell me. How many times do you actually replay them outside of getting the collectibles? Yeah, that's what I thought, punk. Ah, my favorite movie franchise of all time. Even it isn't free of flaws, though. The animation's superb, Poe is a really fleshed out character, the villains are great, but the Furious Five. What a waste of potential. I mean, why make five if the only one you're gonna use is Tigress? I mean, come on, even Mr. Ping has more development than Mantis, Crane, Monkey, and Viper combined. I mean, yeah, they've had animated specials describing and fleshing out their backstories, but it has almost zero effect on the movies. As much as I love the show, I can definitely see why people did not give it a chance at first. It was off to a really bad start. First of all, all the previews and trailers just featured Owen farting, which made people think that's all the show was. And second, when all the characters first appeared, they seemed like nothing more than stereotypes. Yeah, it didn't take long for them to start fleshing out, but that still doesn't change the fact that they didn't make a good first impression. Season 8. Just Season 8. You would think that a show like That 70s Show would be one of those rare occasions where a show would have a fantastic run all the way through and doesn't have a seasonal rot because it was fantastic all the way through until that seasonal rot. Eric left the show, Kelso left the show, and they replaced Eric with the most stereotypical sitcom cool guy that I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, in retrospect, the season itself wasn't too terrible, but compared to the rest of the show, it was abysmal. Ah, Naruto. It was going good. A typical shonen anime I was actually interested in. All the jutsus were creative, the world was very unique, and the setting had a nice feel to it. But then Sasuke, as cool as he is, got a bit too popular, and then everything was about the Uchihas. And then they just dropped the creative jutsus for generic monster fights with the Susanoo and the Tailed Beasts and ugh. But even with the negativity, I still like all the things I listed very, very much. Everything has flaws except the good lord above, so if something has problems, that doesn't mean you can't like it. Learning to criticize things you love can make you unbiased and give you a healthier mindset, so try it out. 